Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let us discuss about the ultra wideband antenna for brain stroke and brain tumor detection. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So the microstrip antennas basically consist of radiating patch on one side of dielectric substrate which has a ground plane on the other side. So the patch is generally made of conducting material such as a copper and gold. So the patch is very thin. So the different radiating patches may be square, rectangle, thin, uh, thin strip, circular, elliptical, triangle or any other configurations. So the radiating element and feed lines are usually photo etched on dielectric substrate. A microstrip patch antenna is uh, also a low profile antenna. It has a number of advantages over the other antennas. So microstrip uh, uh, like a patch antenna must be uh, easily to achieve also. So in this proposed work to design the UWB pentagon shape antenna to detect the brain tumor and brain stroke. So he uh, using UWB means ultra wideband. So that is a uh, UWB antenna. So in this patch antenna operating at also a UWB frequency, right? A wide range of frequency, right? Uh, 3 to 12 jads. That is the range between the UWB antenna. So the dielectric substrate here we using the FR4 substrate. So FR4 is a one type of uh, substrate material here we using. That is also uh, simple and easy also. So the dielectric constant is 4.4 and the dimension of the substrate is 44 cross 30. The height of the substrate is 1.5 mm. So all the dimension is particularly defined by mm only. So this antenna is useful to find the brain stroke and brain tumor on the normal human head. Whatever it may be, easily to find out uh, in the particular brain person it's a stroke or tumor like that. So this will be designed by using the HFS software. And finally we uh, analyze the radiation pattern, directivity, return loss, BSWR and bandwidth of the proposed antenna are calculated by using the hands on HFSS software package. So HFSS here we are using the high frequency structure simulator that is called a HFSS. All the design must be implemented in the HFSS software. Now let us discuss about the flow diagram for HFSS that is a high frequency structure simulator. So the HFSS design is like a 3D X, Y and Z axis. So first of all open the HFSS software and create a new project design. So whatever it may be we design. So create a new project design and then substrate model. So here we assumption uh, here we using the FR4 substrate. So that is a dielectric constant is 4.4 and also select the patch model like uh, rectangle, circle or another model so select the patch type model to design the top and bottom of the patch so here we using the design and top patch is the uh, patch antenna and the bottom is ground plane so assign the boundaries for perfect T that is a perfect electric field for the top and bottom patch so top patch here we using the patch antenna so perfect T is assumption the top and bottom here we using ground plane so perfect T is assumption and then excitation here we using the excitation as waveport analysis for the particular um, for feeding portion so like a coaxial probe like that feed and then uh, to set up the analysis to set up the analysis like um, start and stop frequencies and also the center frequency of the process so for example um, 3 to 12 jahats means so that is a uh, 3 to 12 jahats of the process so assign the frequencies means uh, in between the frequency like uh, 6 jahats like the process to assign the vacuum boundary of radiation so in this box we really assign the radiation of the patch antenna like uh, to prevent the uh, environment from the process. So finally get the results like return loss, radiation pattern, VSWR, bandwidth and also in uh, two dimension and three dimension also. So here we are using the structures. So this is a design of uh, pentagon shape pattern. So this is a pentagon shape like uh, it's a, it, it should be um, uh, like uh, forwarded in the HFS software and this is a partially ground. So that is not a fully ground, this is a partially ground. So these are the dimension and length in mm. So L1 is 44 like that. So this uh, pentagon shape antenna is usually easily to product the software of the process. So overall it must be easily to detect. Yeah, this is a side view representation and layers of the antenna. So this is a patch and a microstrip feed. So and this is on the ground plane. So in between the in between the patch and ground, here we are using the substrate. So the substrate is FR4. Here we are using the substrate of the process. So overall this is a side view representation of the process. And then the finally calculating the finally get results like radiation pattern, return loss. Radiation pattern always uh, must be in a 2D and 3D also. In return loss always we must calculating minus 10 dB below. So only we calculating easily define us. And then BSWR radiation pattern like 2D and 3 dimension also. For uh, example the here we using the pentagon shape antenna. We using the HFS software of the process. So over, uh, these are the uh, important design to whatever it may be the length is must. So and also substrate. So these are the overall running of the and then uh, also and also the overall flow diagram of the process. 
Yeah, now we let us discuss about the running procedure for the process. So this is the HFSS window. In the HFSS window, here we are using assumption of a pentagon design. So this is a, like a pentagon design, and then the flow of this is a patch, and then substrate, and then ground plane of the process. So in the boundaries, here we are using a perfect T1 for a perfect T1 for the electric field, and perfect T4 for the ground plane, and then perfect E3 for the partial ground plane of the process. And then radiation pattern here we are assumption of the uh, 3d radiation pattern of the particular process so here we are using the radiation pattern like uh, whatever it may be the value will be calculated so that is the process of pentagon design of the process so in this process the patch model is to be described so in the patch model so yeah here we assumption as a fr4 substrate so fr4 substrate only we use so that is fr4 substrate and then perfect t that is a pentagon design of the patch antenna and then um, whatever it may be we, we only design for that so these are the two dimension two dimension of the values and these are the three dimension of the particular values so in the excitation process here we assumption of the wayport analysis so here this is a, a radiation panel so Assigns the radiation excitation of the process and then analysis setup. So, in this analysis setup, setup 1. So, solution frequency is 8 GHz and then the number of passes is 20 and then the maximum value we should be getting in the value and then uh, sweep. So, in this sweep process, the start and stop frequency 2 GHz and then stop frequency is 14 GHz of the process and then linear setup. Uh, so, whatever it will be calculating of the process. So, finally, we calculating the so these are the validation checkbox so all the values which we check design settings 3d model boundaries and excitation measure and analysis setup optometrics and radiation so all the values which should be getter and then finally getting the results so this one is a, a written loss like that so this is the and then uh, this is the validation checkbox and then this is analysis setup so it takes some time to uh, running the procedure so all the values which we created and then the finally calculating the return loss and then radiation pattern of all the parameters it should be display of the process so and then calculating the results of the antenna so in this process uh, return loss will be calculated so the return loss is minus 10 db of the process and then finally calculating the vswr of the value so the vswr is must be uh, below uh, 2 minus db of the value so and then the radiation pattern so in the radiation pattern we calculating the gain of the value so the gain of the process must be calculating the 360 degree of the process and also the it must be calculating by using the minus and then 6 gigahertz of the value so it like a 2d pattern of the particular HFSS design and then this is the 3D so in this 3D the red value should be high intensity of the process so here we assumption um, x y z for i pi theta and uh, gamma of the value of the process and here the same assumption for the stroke design so in the stroke design here we assumption the uh, this this, uh, this is the antenna of the process this antenna is a placement of the top of the process and then uh, the brain tumor it should be assumption in the ball so that's a ball is a tumor so here is the sphere is a tumor and this is the skull and this is the skin of the process and then fr4 substrate will be used the tumor will be calculated by using the value so whatever it may be the calculation the value which must be calculated so the rectangle part is uh, top of the design which will be calculated and then tumor and sphere so the sphere is with calculated so whatever it may be the value should be calculated so these are the overall running procedure for the process thank you for listening this video